guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be playing a little bit of World at War Call of Duty. Now um what we're just gonna be doing today is just basically playing Nocturne and Toad in, um, you know, first map that ever came out in Call of Duty. Now I did release a video about Call of Duty World at War like a few weeks ago, but I think it's just better if we just focus on one single map and I thought what would be the best map to start other than the first ever one that came out. So yeah, um, anyways, let's just get started. All right, here it is, first ever map. Pretty bare bones, you just have uh, M1 carbine right there, car 98K, and nothing right here in the starting room. Start off with your Colt, M911, and well, that's pretty much it, just a figure grenades and your good old trusty knife. Best for in that round one. Anyways, um. So the purpose for this video is just I decided to just, you know, just make a few videos trying to see if I could try to make it a little bit on top on the rounds and also, you know, just trying to get some content right now since I'm kind of dry right now. Now, um, right now I'm still trying to work on zombies. I'm not sure if I should, I'm not sure what I should do for my YouTube channel right now because I've been thinking, should I just do Call of Duty Zombies or should I just focus on, you know, um, Minecraft, like, I don't know, maybe Minecraft, maybe Call of Duty Zombies, I have no idea. Maybe even Fortnite, I don't know. Like, there's not many video games out there that's actually pretty good right now. Because Apex, in my opinion, Apex has gotten downhill, or it, it's kind of been doing kind of bad lately. Uh, let's see, Call of Duty, um, if you see my, if you saw my channel, you knew, you know that I've been posting Vanguard videos for a while, but I got pretty bored of it because the game has just been really boring lately. And any other games, Warzone, Warzone is I just really don't like Warzone. Yeah, not, I don't know any other games that you know I just provide for what I need. Like yeah, I just don't really know any other games. So now I've just been thinking, what if I just go back to Fortnite or something? Fortnite maybe. I mean, I'm still not entirely sure yet. There you go. But, uh, yeah, maybe Minecraft, I've been thinking of just making like a hardcore world that Minecraft, like, I don't know, just like those videos that they see like 100 days in Minecraft. But I've been just thinking of, you know, trying to see if I could make like a cool little village or something like that in my hardcore world. I don't know, I definitely want to do a hardcore series, but I'm not sure if it will actually do great. I might just do it either way because I kind of want to soon. But right now I'm just trying to focus on Call of Duty Zombies, especially since I don't know what to do yet for the future regarding my channel. I've been thinking, however, if I'm going to continue this Call of Duty Zombies thing, I might need to buy Black Ops 1. I, I bought World of War um, legitimately, but I kind of want to get it through Plutonium. But I didn't. I'm, I'm definitely going to get Black Ops through 2 through Plutonium. But Black Ops 1, I, I could not find anywhere on the internet where I could get Black Ops 1 for free. So I might just actually have to end up buying it. Because last time I tried to install it through some Russian like thing. And it was on like an old computer. It did not go well. So yeah, I guess I learned my lesson from that. But yeah. I'm just actually not sure. At least the Lunar Cell is actually out now on Steam, so... Yeah, but I'm kind of stuck still, because, like, do I want to get Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 1? Or maybe even Rainbow Six Siege, because I haven't tried out that game yet. And, yes and yesterday, I was talking with a few of my friends, and they are like, Yo, you should try out Rainbow Six Siege. And I was like, yeah, sure, once the next Steam sale comes on. And surprise, surprise, it was just right now, today, at midnight, so... That's cool, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy it at some point so I could try it out. I don't know. <laughs> when I woke up and saw my email and said, Hey, you, you got seven items in your wish list that are on sale now. And I was like, Bruh. I guess I'm gonna have to waste my money on something right now. I wanna get Rainbow Six Siege just so I could try it out. Black Ops 1 so I could try to make more videos like this and I could try out all the maps that people say are good, like Moon, um, Kino, their Toten. I was going to say Shangri-La, but Shangri-La is not good based on what most people say. And Black Ops 3, I want to get it so I could just play all the mods and actually be able to play online. And since Black Ops 3 on Steam comes with the Zombie Beast Chronicle thing, 
I could actually play the remaster version of all these maps, including Nocturne Children and everything else. Bars are right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that, so I could just play a bunch of modded things. That would be pretty cool. But I'm still not sure if I should buy it or not. What is that? Oh, that's insecure. Oh, be careful. Oh. Uh, Alright, oh well. But yeah, I've been seriously thinking, like... Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, the game's already kind of eh, oofed by, you know, hackers and everything, cheaters in online ranked, whatever. But I think it's starting to die down because the game is, well, dying. So, I mean, it's kind of that's one for the hackers to do, I think. I'm not sure. But I just want to play Black Ops 3 just for fun. Black Ops 1, Sakura Shari, all, all those maps. <laughs> That's cool. They're able to actually do do this. You could try to stop from falling down. That's weird. Not gonna like the reload animations of these guns that World of War are really clean. You, you just go pew 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 like this. And then that's satisfying click though. Yo, wouldn't it be funny if I just got like the scope car 98k out of here? I won't do that. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that there was a barrier here, and that might be the helicopter that I crashed. So, th is there any trucks back there? Because based on what the wiki says, it says that I crashed a few trucks containing, well, the person I'm playing gas, what was using a plane, crashed here, nearby. But in the, in, by doing that, he also crashed into a few trucks where which were containing substance 115 and a few dead bodies and for all of you people who know the zombies storyline substance 115 plus dead bodies equals zombies so yeah um sin give me that feeling pretty good that's a bar right yeah only 1000 points <laughs> I guess that's why it was better than the carbine. Or the M6. Uh, I really have to start spraying with this, don't I? I think these hoops are actually passing by really fast. If I continue doing what I'm doing, I may actually just end up doing pretty good. Maybe wave 20? Record? <laughs> You're the last zombie, aren't you? Yeah. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Please, maybe. No, thank you. That's mystery box pin. I'm going back in there. Oh my god. Please, last one, last one, last one, last one. Hurry up. No, I'm going back up there. It's taking too long. Thank you. Actually, I think I might be able to do mystery box pins with this. I don't even have any ammo for the Thompson left. No. Sure, I ran out of ammo. Are you the last guy, maybe? Please, no. Oh, how come he didn't turn to a caller? I don't even have any grenades left. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. All I need is flamethrower and I'm good. If I get flamethrower next, then I'm sure that, that I was getting teased this whole entire time. No! That bucket was the only thing that killed me. Oh my god. 
Oh, it was about time I was stalling way too much. Uh, oh well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll either make my mind and either one start a Minecraft hardcore gameplay series, whatever, or I'm just gonna gonna continue doing this in a pop the next one will probably just be me going over Ruruk and how bad of a map it is and how can you even survive to turn on power you don't want those two anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you real soon later